here tonight, Josh had said, it's that kind of day you want to make sure you have your raincoat handy. Yeah. And I ran into you and I was like, good thing I had this raincoat with sprinkling today. And I didn't have mine. I didn't want to <laughs> shame you, but okay, yeah, you were out real quick. So. Yeah, yeah, it, it was a quick walk. But hey, you know, the rain showers that we were seeing earlier this evening really starting to come to an end, specifically out along the coastline as that marine layer is starting to push its way back on shore. Of course, all of this coming after those light rain shots. These were taken just moments after I saw Elizabeth all bundled up in her rain jacket. And now just a distant memory as we take a live look out across the Vancouver area. Thanks to our Riverview Bank camera, you can still see those low hanging clouds, although they are slowly starting to break apart. So once our newscast concludes, you want to maybe poke your head out, look directly up, and that's where you will see the harvest moon in all of its bright super moon glory. 62 degrees, that's where we're currently sitting, keeping mostly cloudy skies through the rest of this evening as those temperatures slide back into the upper 50s. You can see that the cloud coverage is still widespread across the Portland, Vancouver metro area as we've seen those dwindling showers, especially out towards parts of Washington County. Much of the same up and down the I-5 quarter of the coastline as we really see the end of this latest batch of wet weather after our rain gauges only filled up to a couple of one hundredths of an inch, but hey, we will take every little bit that Mother Nature throws our way with some of our coastal spots nearing that tenth inch mark. That just really helped to make it feel like the autumn season as now we are just five days out from the official start to the brand new fall season. And that's where we expect over the next week to see a lot of our fall foliage start to show some low color as it really starts to close in on the I-5 quarters. We expect to see high color, if not even peak conditions for parts of the Cascades, some of the high peaks where temperatures are at their coldest point, expecting to see that change sooner rather than later. Cloud coverage, though, it is expected to start to diminish as we work our way through the rest of this evening. Patchy fog likely by the start of the day. Then the sunshine takes over that in turn helping warm things back up by about 10 degrees compared to our daytime high today of 65. A lot of missed out opportunity for rain as we work our way through Thursday as we do expect to see the return of drier skies. But there you go, reduced visibility in places like Salem for the start of the day tomorrow down to about two and a quarter mile. And then we see those clear conditions once again return. Not surprising, though, that we're starting to talk about fog. September typically has an average of one day of foggy conditions. But look, October, that's the breadwinner with a grand total of six. So you might have to use the low beams for the start of the day tomorrow. But by the evening, bright blue sunny skies once again returning. This all comes as the autumn season gets underway on Sunday with a high of 76. But look at what our temperatures do. Mother Nature getting a little confused. One week from today, we could potentially be climbing back up into the low 80s tonight seeing those decreasing clouds patchy fog for some of us 60 degrees is where we fall to tomorrow we start to clear that cloud coverage and put ourselves back into the mid 70s with winds out of the north northwest at about 5 to 10 seven day forecast we dry things out for the rest of the week into the weekend that's where we celebrate the official start of the autumn autumnal equinox that gets underway exactly at 543. So set your reminder now as we dry <laughs> things out and warm things back up again. One week from today, Elizabeth, we're talking about the return of the low 80s. Oh my gosh, uh, I can't handle it. Start of fall and then some summer like temperatures. I know we just got to fasten our seatbelts. The roller coaster ride continues. Buckling up. All right, thanks, Josh. Hey, um, Jeff. Well, looks like